Hello YouTube, I'm back, and this time I'd like to show you my bedroom right now. So far, I've got Lady and Tramp in bed, who I'm sleeping with at night time. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got dogs all cuddled up neatly on some of my cushions and dog beds. And also, I've set my I set out the steam team from Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. And down here, I've got Broom the Little Yellow Car, who I will probably feature in more videos if possible. Now, what I was doing was the Bob the Builder take along vehicle stuff. If I get my stool, sit down. Well, here, you saw this scoop carrier case in my free, in one of my previous unboxings of this that I did, the giant carrier case, which is kind of like the Thomas the Tank Engine one. I'll get that out in a bit if you wait here. Okay, here is my Thomas the Tank Engine carrier case. You can see they're pretty similar sized. I put a take along Thomas the tank engine carrier. See, it's just a little taller. But let me move this out off to the side. Now, I must show you my other vehicles I got in this. You remember my unboxing of this where I got in the mail? Sorry, it's kind of hard for me to do with one hand. I haven't got a stand because of this only Xperia. Sorry, YouTube. But I'll start with the first five machines that we already know from Bob the Builder. If I go get my other, one of my other stands, and I'll be back. Okay, and now that I've got my stand to hold on to, I can get out one of my Bob the Builder machines. I'll start with the yellow machine that we all know, and that is Scoop. Now Scoop is a pretty great machine, and I'll tell you reasons why. First off, he was one of my favorite, my, most of my favorite Bob the Builder characters, and I kept thinking he was a lead role being a machine and not a human. And yet this one has a magnetic load. That is kind of like the Jack and Elfie machines from Thomas the Tank Engine take alongs. He picks him up with his front. Another thing that Scoop has is he can move his shovel up and down. And also, the back hoe machine moves up and down, so it can be like digging a trench, or, you know, digging the foundations for a new house. And the face on Scoop looks pretty good. His eye pupils are a bit small, but I think that should be necessary, because Scoop... We don't want his eyebrows to be too, or his eye pupils to be too big. I don't always have, I didn't have all Bob the Builder take alongs from when I was a small child, but I did have Rolly, Dizzy, and the Bob the Builder we were all home, and I also had Benny, this, I'll show you him in a bit, but anyways, I'll put Scoop off, up to the, out of the, camera shot and then I'll show you the next machine I'm going to show you and that would be Muck. Oops, dropped his load. Off to a good start. He 
Here's Muck. And he has this really big load, which I think is like dirt or stuff that he must have put in his dumper. I remember in the show how he like has his dumper can go up and down. And you remember in my Bob the Builder stop motion where I used a bit of the, like it was Bob the Builder's sand or Kedic sand stuff. That Muck can like, and then it like slips into his dumper. His face looks pretty good, and another thing that I did like about, or not so sure about Muck, was why does he have fake caterpillar tracks? Because you see he's got proper wheels underneath. They spin around. But like the treads, and if you have a look at Terence the Tractor, Thumper and Byron from the Take Along Thomas the Tank Engine range, they have proper caterpillars. The only version of Muck with caterpillars is the Bob the Builder Racing Champions or Ertle Muck. But I'll talk about that later, off the screen Muck. Now let's have a look at the orange machine, Dizzy. Here's Dizzy, and she was the only sort of take along Bob the Builder vehicle that I had from my childhood. I didn't have Alden because like, I usually looked at the giant plastic born to play ones. And another cool thing about Dizzy is she, like the Tom Take Along Thomas the Tank Engine vehicles, has this nice magnet so she can like connect to another trailer or maybe so she can tow Lorry 1 or one of the Thomas vehicles. The thing I like about Dizzy is how she has this tipping concrete inside or that says that is if she's pouring cement. And the trailer, I know it looks a lot like Travis's trailer. It has a brick load in it that you could use so she could help get the walls built. For some reason, her head won't stick up properly or won't stay upright. Which is probably why her head is a bit weird. So, but when you but turn her upright, and then when you put her this way, she like in the TV show, you can make Dizzy s s sit up like this. On her back wheels. Alright, now let's have a look at Rolly. The green steamroller. Broly, he was another one of my only die-cast metal Bob the Builder toys I had from my childhood. But I sold a lot of all those Bob the Builder machines, but I got him along with all the others except for Skip. All in this carrier case on eBay. If you see our screenshot in that video. Now, Rolly, he has a nice, smooth steamroller. Some might say he's a horrible green machine, but I'd think he's actually a good green machine. Why? Well, first off, the take-along version of Rolly has, like, a almost happy face. The other ones look like, it's more like he's grumpy. Like the big born to play Rolly, or the character Rolly from... The character range. And you can move his roller back and forth if he has to turn. And he also, just like Dizzy, he has a connector, a magnet, so you can couple him to, I don't know, or connect him with other trailers or whatever. And 
the roller is good, so that's good, so it's rolly. Now, let me move on to the big blue machine. Lofty. It is lofty. His crane arm moves up and down. And also he has a nice magnetic hook, so and he also has this nice old like somewhat steel piece. Maybe if it's like for a bridge or something, and like Lofty can lift that up. Now let me just... Right, I'll show the ones I have so far, so let's move Lofty out of the way. Now let's have a look at the Bob the Builder mobile home. Now this one I have had for such a long time, longest at all this machine toy I've got from Bob the Builder, because like all the others I sold, and including Dizzy Rawley, Scrambler, and Benny from the I had when I was small, but this one is good. It has a sliding door, and when look what happens. Uh, does, but it's supposed to like change from Bob to Wendy and then to let me just try again Right, there we go. Now it's switched to Spud and Scruffy. Spud the Scarecrow and Scruffy the dog. And there's Pilchard sitting on the couch. And, be and it's usually seen in Bob the Builder's Sunflower Valley if you've got the DVD Bob the Builder's Big Plan. And I don't have Travis, so it looks like Rolly will be pulling it away. Now let's have a look at Skip. Now here's Skip. Now I did have a giant friction powered Skip made by Born to Play when I was a young child, but this one is a diecast. I found it on holiday when I was in Whitby. If you've seen that video, you might have seen Skip in the background on one of my flatbeds. I guess it's nice little like load that f turns over, and just like Rolly, he has an and Dizzy, he has another magnet to connect with. I don't know what you can connect with, but and also he has a nice little and his skip load moves up and down. So skip another good toy. So. At skip. Oh, one more thing I should say is that I didn't get him in this lot. I got him off of from that from a collectible store in a, on my holiday. So, yep. It's because Bob the Builder Take Alongs discontinued, which isn't good because I really love Take Alongs. They got better with age, even though they probably did replace the ERTL machines. Right, let me get out the scrambler. Now 
Snell Scrambler is pretty good, and he has a nice trailer, just like Dizzy. It's got tools on it, it's got Bob's hammer jacket and saw, chainsaw, and his toolbox, and maybe a lot of other supplies, and when you flip, turn it over. And also, he, Scrambler has a magnet on him, just like all those other Bob the Builder, just like Rolly, Skip, Dizzy, and Bob's mobile home. Now, let's, let's Scrambler. Now, let me have a look at Benny. Now, Benny, he was only one of my only other machines I got from when I was younger, when I was like a child, but he was a pretty good Bob the Builder machine, and like Muck, he has fake wheat tre caterpillar treads instead of real ones like he could have used on off of Thumper or Terence on the Thomas the Tank Engine take-alongs. And he has this big pipe, which I think is to fix the drains. Which is good, so that's Benny. And just like Scoop, his backhoe is also magnetic. So that's Benny. And now let's look at my biggest Bob Builder machine I have so far. If I can get him out. There we go. There's tum Tumblr. Tumblr? I'd never seen him when I was watching Bob the Builder, but I've recently saw him in a DVD called Bob the Builder on the site. Houses and Playgrounds. And Tumblr is he actually a bigger concrete pourer than Dizzy, only he's a guy but look again he has a magnet so you can connect with Thomas take along die casts he's actually quite big like if you compare him to I don't know let's say Rolly but Tumblr, a pretty good one, even though I've never seen him on Bob the Builder a lot, but it's Tumblr. Now let's move on to the last other machines I have. If I can get him out. Come on, get out of there. That's one of them out. Here he is, um, here he is, it's um, the red delivery vehicle called Packer. Now he is Bob the Builder's delivery truck, so you can get the bricks and timber and important stuff to him. They're building anything. He'll be on the way by road. And also, he has a nice big load. And also inside it, he has, I don't know what it is, but it looks like, I don't know, fruit or oranges. Maybe it's just for the people to drink or eat, isn't it? There we go. Now let's move him up off the camera. Lord, it's getting a bit crowded. Mm. That's him. We've got to the last but not least machine, which is um, no, not tricks. It's actually Sumzy. Now Sumzy, I thought she was tricks because like Sumzy's pretty similar, and I think it's because they reused 
Trix and Skip as Papaka and Sunzi. But I don't have a, a toy of Trix. I did have some when I was younger, but, you know, they were sold and I do actually miss them. I'm not joking. It would be about people's childhood of stuff. Excuse me. Um, but Sumzi has a magnetic load of, I think it looks like bricks. Or, I don't know. And she has nice little rubber wheels. And Lo I forgot to mention Lofty has rubber wheels too. Instead of made of plastic, they're actually made of rubber, like real machines. Don't know if you can tell. But, um, anyways, that's all the Bob the Builder take along I have. There are other two machines that I'm not using at the moment. I think one of them's called Flex, and I don't know what the other one's called, but it's like a road sweeping machine used to but anyways let me just line up all the machines I have so scoop muck dizzy rolly lofty we just move the camera a bit back further back. Scrambler. Benny. Trick or oh, some Z, sorry. Sorry if you can't see her, but let me put the big O behind. Let me put Tumblr behind. Uh, maybe I'll put Packer behind. Considering they're taller machines, and I think it's best to have taller machines at the back. Then... Um, okay, so that's my entire or mostly Bob the Builder machines, minus two of them that I've got away at the moment. Hope you enjoyed this, and thank you so much for watching. This is B2000 Row, signing off.